So today I'm at my parents' house with the world's first boundaryless electric robot lawnmower called the EcoFlow Blade. It is a very, very interesting looking unit. I used to mow this lawn every single week growing up and I never thought I'd be installing a robot to do my job for me. But here we are. My mom says that if this robot mower happens to mulch her daffodils, well, let's just hope that the robot mower doesn't mulch her daffodils. I've been told that this machine only takes 15 minutes to set up. Huge thanks to EcoFlow for sponsoring this video. I think it's time we see if those rumors are true. Let's get started. So this is the first mow of the season at my parents' house, and because we're just coming out of winter, the grass is a little uneven in some spots. Some patches are as long as four inches, and four inches is pretty long. The mower definitely has its work cut out for it. The actual setting up of the mower went super quick. While other robot mowers might need a buried wire to set yard boundaries, the EcoFlow blade operates on a GPS system, along with onboard cameras and LiDAR. I started off placing the base station and GPS tower next to the house. The tower looks kind of like a trident from a green-thumbed Aquaman. But after testing the signal strength, I decided to place it farther away in a more open area. And then, to program my parents' yard into the mower's brains, I can drive the blade around the edge of the lawn, as it digitally draws a map of the operatable area. I could set multiple areas for the front and backyard, but since my yard is connected, I'm just going to do it all in one. Once the exterior boundaries are set, I can again take the mower and drive it around trees or flower beds inside the yard, and set these areas as no-go zones, where the mower is not allowed to go. So far, the mower is extremely quiet. Just using its onboard electric motors and almost 300 kilowatt hours of battery to maneuver around the yard. So it's been raining a little bit as we've been mapping, so it should make mowing a little bit more difficult, but we're here to test it to its limits. We have the exterior mapped and the no-go zone set, so we should be able to get started. Start Let's see how this goes. All right, that's not bad. It's kind of taking a weird path straight through the center of the yard, but I'm sure it has a plan. We'll see what happens. You can see the diagonal path it took from the starting station over here to the edge. Turns out I accidentally forgot to set the mower height and that first pass trimmed the grass right down to its nubs. Nobody tell my mom. I did adjust the deck height though and the rest of the mowing process went quite a bit smoother. Apparently it just wanted to touch the edge of the yard before getting started. So it finally said rain detected, which is valid because it's super wet. I think the rain sensor is these little guys back here and obviously there's water connecting the two points. So it's making its way back to the charging station until the rain dries up. The blade is water resistant, so a little rain sprinklers or even rinsing off with a hose isn't going to bother it. Start charging. The strange looking wheels in front are called Omni wheels, and it's basically a wheel made up of wheels, which eliminates the need for a mechanical steering system. Less moving parts is a good thing, since there's less to break. And probably why EcoFlow is confident enough to offer a very impressive four-year replacement warranty. The wheels are eight inches tall and can climb over obstacles that are one and a half inches high. It really is amazing how quiet this thing is. Speaking of quiet, the reason other regular lawnmowers are loud is because of the large engines, for one, but also because the large blades underneath are hitting pockets of air left behind by the blade in front of it that makes the mower sound like a fan or a helicopter. The EcoFlow blade, though, has replaceable razor blades underneath that are much smaller and cutting the lawn silently. Going through the very thick and tall grass in our front yard, though, was pretty difficult. Six inches is far above average, by the way, and it's getting a little longer than our robot friend can handle. 
This is very much a real yard with a realistic lawn, making this a realistic test. The mower has a two-hour battery life and a working area of three-quarter acres. My parents' yard is about a third of an acre and took about three hours to cut, with the robot stopping one time in the middle to recharge. The first pass was pretty rough, but the second pass, after the motor could travel over the foliage and position itself easier, was much more accurate. The EcoFlow blade is very much designed for regular, consistent, scheduled, automatic maintenance runs, and not for taming the Amazon. One nice thing is that with the onboard cameras and LiDAR, the blade is able to see and avoid any unplanned obstacles, like pets or toys. You might be asking, hey Jerry, what happens if someone walks by and just steals my lawnmower? And first off, that would be extremely rude, but second, it does have an internal eSIM. Combined with GPS, can track its location. So not only is it geo-locked to your specific yard, if it ever leaves, you can still find it. The GPS is currently being utilized to make long passes up and down each side of my yard. Might be fun in the future if EcoFlow would allow us to change up this pattern, you know, run east and west one week and then north and south the next week to change things up. Overall, it's an extremely impressive machine. There were a few times that leaves and sticks got caught up in the Omni wheels, but later in the summer when leaves and dead twigs are gone, I don't see that being much of a long-term issue. Plus, EcoFlow has a sweeper attachment to help pick up leaves and sticks automatically. The sweeper attachment is an industry first. With one screw and one plug, it clips into place and uses rubber bristles to sweep grass and leaves into the bag. Since this is the first mow of the year, I probably should have started with a good sweep, but it'll also be fun to try out with the leaves this fall. One suggestion I would add during setup is to make sure that the base station is in a wide open area. Since the robot is using cameras and LiDAR to dock itself, if the base station is hidden from view or obstructed, it's harder for the blade to accurately find it. So is this robot mower something grandma could set up all by herself? I mean, I guess it depends on your grandma, but it is something that she could run by herself, since everything happens pretty much automatically. Super excited to see EcoFlow branching out into the robot world. I've had one of their battery solar systems powering my barn for the last two years. And if you were to connect the robot mower to a battery backup, your lawn care would be extra green. I'll leave a link with the current pricing down in the video description, along with an early bird discount code, so you can grab one for yourself. Thanks a ton for watching, and since we didn't dice up any of my mom's flowers, I will see you around.